Welcome back to Essex Farms. So springtime is here. Now is a good time to replant your cow pastures or make new ones. And uh, that's what we're gonna be doing today. We had this land cleared off uh, last year. I uh, got all the brush and stuff cleared off. So we're gonna plant grass seed on it today. I actually planted grass seed on the side over here last year and it did really good. We got a good uh, root system going on now. We got earthworms moving in. So all that worked really good. So I wanna show you the uh, best way that I have found to re-sow a cow pasture or to make a new one. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to rip the ground up. We're gonna take the disc and uh, I got a heavy duty uh, 24 uh, blade disc that we're going to go through and rip the ground up to uh, make a good bed for that seed. We're going to be using a lot of equipment today. This is the first part. This is the disc. It's a 24 blade disc. Very heavy duty. I should dig down in real good in the ground and make a good seed bed. We're going to be pulling it with the John Deere. So uh, let's get started. <laughs> a lot of these big uh, chunks of wood and stuff but all this used to be trees uh, before we cleared it it was all trees so that's going to happen where my disc it up it's going to uh, bring those sticks to the surface that are underground <laughs> Got that done that looks good i like the way it all turned up uh, that's gonna work out really good i did run into a lot of this though a lot of logs and stuff that uh once the disc ran over brought them up out of the ground but like i said all this used to be woods so it's not that big of a deal i'll come right here uh and get them out and throw them in a pile and burn them so uh, we're gonna move on to the second part now of planting grass seed so the grass seed we're gonna be using is a groundwork landscaping uh, grass seed mixture really good grass it grows uh, good and thick and green and uh, this is a 50 pound bag covers about 35,000 square foot this is around $60 at tractor supply which isn't that bad when you compare it to uh, Kentucky 31 that's $130 a bag uh, this is the same grass seed I used on the other side of the other field over there and uh, really had good results with that so let's go ahead and get this in the spreader and uh, we'll get throwing it out We're going to be using this spreader it's a silver edge spreader and a uh, funny story about it i bought it for a hundred dollars and i brought it home filled it up with fertilizer and i went to use it and it wouldn't turn so i got to looking and the gears were stripped out so i tried to find a the company uh but they were closed down i couldn't get any parts so i went out and looked at it again and uh took the gears off and grinded them down and uh put them back in and i noticed it had a little gap so where the pto shaft comes in to the gear so I just put two washers behind it and pressed it on there and uh, worked fine ever since. So pretty good deal for a $100 uh, spreader here. So we got the spreader hooked to the Massey Ferguson 50, old big red. is what you want it to look like you want to be able to see all your seeds laying out to get a good cover on your ground i know it might be hard to see out there but uh it's covered pretty good so we got the seeds out uh spreader did really good i think i got a good covering on the ground uh you want a real good covering like that so the more seeds will grow faster and the reason I, we open up the ground like that is so the seeds can fall into the ground if you came out here and just threw a handful of seeds uh, it's not going to do much. The birds will eat it, the rain will wash it away, and uh, it's just not going to do nothing. So with opening up the ground, getting it in there, 
Now the next part that we're going to do, the last part, is run over it with the rake. We're going to close that nerve back up, and uh, that way the sun will heat the ground and it'll get warm. It's going to rain, and uh, the grass will start growing really good. So we got the field done, got it covered up. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. So hopefully that'll be good and, and uh, help the grass grow. Hopefully in around 20 days we'll have some grass out here. And uh, this is going to make a good day field. And by day field, is it sounds exactly like what it is. I'm going to put my cows in here for a day and let them eat. Not eat all the way down or nothing like that, but eat for a day and then get them off. And uh, a bag of feed is around $10 or so. So a day field saves me $10 every time I use it. So what we're going to do now is put up these uh, fiberglass posts with the poly braid wire. Uh, to keep the cows out and uh, that way the grass can grow and I don't have to worry about them getting in there. So these fiberglass posts are really easy to get in the ground and uh, all you gotta do is step on this little ledge right here. You have harder ground you gotta beat them in with a hammer a little bit but once you get them in they stay pretty good. Then take your poly braid and put it uh, on the little clips and you're good to go. Okay, so we got everything done, got the temporary fence up. I'm gonna check, make sure it has power on it. Yep, got 7,000 volts. So if you enjoyed this video, slap that thumbs up. Let me know if you watched the whole thing, let me know. Uh, we're just building a small farm here on around 15 acres and we got cows and pigs and chickens and uh, just showing that you don't have to have a hundred acres to provide for your family to provide meat for your family so i uh, appreciate you watching and uh, we'll see you next time here on the farm